All right, go video. So, try to make this video a little short. So we got four of these, four sets of these legs at the uh, auction. So we priced them up pretty good. Um, I sold one pair for 175, and then the other three pairs for 120. This is the um, exact. I think this is the exact set where I shipped it and my very last pair and it broke one leg broke this top portion right here so being a great seller I am I hopped in the van and uh, yeah scurried on down to the uh, antique store and found this we paid a whopping $35 for this desk. So technically this was sitting in there and uh, nobody snagged it. So that was good for us. And uh, so technically I only have to send her one side. It's the exact same pair. So that's good for me. I don't, I don't have to ship two. And that's why uh, they broke. I didn't put enough filler and padding in there. Um, so just trying to appease that buyer and we pulled through. Nice, nice, nice. Then went to see Ray. Ray had this all, all PlayStation 2. So Ray, Ray Ray, Ray Ray does the thrift store, and these weren't out of the back or anything, but he's just been acquiring them as they come in, and uh, so it's uh, 220, 220 PlayStation games for 65. Five dollars, and uh, I kicked them another ten. So uh, I keep looking out for some more. So um, he's got them all kind of separated, and uh, he said he didn't look most of them up. So I don't really know what's in here. I did not look at it. Kind of, kind of bought it blind. But there's some decent in here. This uh, midway. You get five or ten for that. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Let's pull it out. Check it out. All right, so we're down in the store. Uh, I brought the games down here. You know, it's a little easier just to show them to you down here. Uh, I've been doing a full revamp. It's been uh, pretty hectic. So this is the games that we got from uh, Ray Ray. Again, 65 and kicked him an extra 10. Uh, am, I, am I even filming you? <laughs> uh, 65, gave him an extra 10. Get the... Hope to just get some more piles like this, I guess. Alright, this is what kind of what we got. I'm going to swing you right around. Alright, this is kind of the, the run here. Hopefully I can get some steady hands. I know nothing about any of these. I didn't look any of these up. Um, I know PS2 doesn't do that good unless if they're uh, sealed. All right, so there's that. There's that crate. Um, let me count them out real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, ten, twenty, five. So it's about 75 games right there. 70. Alright, let's go to the other stack. The other stack's right here. I gotta move this tote of CB and a piano. 
So pretty much we've been pulling everything um, that's not listed and delisting things that I don't want in the store. Um, so I got some nice empty spots going down uh, back there. Um, blah, blah, blah. And I've been sorting all my paper. So I got, I don't know, I think it's 80, 80 to 90 boxes, 80, 90, uh, medium flat rate boxes of, uh, old vintage paper. Like, I don't know, it's all odd paper, newspapers, pamphlets, little inserts to different things, pitches and everything. It's all, it's all not like super mixed in there, but. It's just a bunch of paper. Um, there's some good stuff in there. I think they're probably $10 each, probably worth. Um, so, I mean, it's at least $1,000 worth of paper and inventory, like, liquidated. So I don't want to throw it away. Um, and then it'll probably just be sorted when I have time and then destined for the auction, I guess. I don't know why decided to show you that but I gotta move this tote to get to the this tote all right all right the lighting's not that great um, so here we go not a lot of great ones a lot of pickles there that one's gonna be worth something. I got these. Got a twisted metal in there. It's, it's a black though. Um, got some of this Top Gear stuff out of a clean out. That stuff does well. Hope you can read those upside down. Um, and then some more Top Gear stuff right here. And then... Oh There's a whole other thing of games under there. Um, there's Turtle Smash Up. I don't know what that goes for. That sounds pretty good. There's a Dark Cloud here yeah, that's... That's a pretty good game. That's at least 10. Um, it's a lot of pickleage, but... Still bundle it up, you know. I think that's what's gonna end up happening. I don't think really any of these so decent. I make like five bundles of five. Ship them in a five or six. Ship them in a padded flat rate at a. Eight dollars and fifty one cents quoted shipping, and then put them at like ten bucks. Make a bunch of lots and put them at ten bucks, I guess. Yeah, it's just kind of starting through a bunch of pickleage. Yeah, I mean, 65. So they're a dollar each. I mean, that's doubling up. And there's got to be a couple in here, so. Um, yeah, you should do all right. should do all right on that. No worries. 
Um, onto something else, I guess. Just short, short, maybe. Yeah, so overall, not too bad. Um, yeah, hopefully there's a couple of decent games in there, you know. Um, so, point of that story is to you gotta make friends with the guy in the back of the thrift store. Um, that's gonna help you. Uh, for those kind of buys like that, I guess. And then you got to be resourceful. You got to know where to kind of get some of the one-off material that you have. Like if something breaks, you got to you got to kind of know where you can get maybe some of it. That way, if you got to replace it or you know something goes wrong with the item, whatever you know, you 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 have that one extra ability to be able to provide some serious customer service on a one-off store that's that's really good that's what that's where you want to be um yeah on the next see you in the next video peace